inside the Niger Delta. After over 40 years of waiting, leaders of Isoko Nation say it's now time for the government to appoint one of their own as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. An organization, Isoko Equity Group, says President Muhammad Buhari must use the opportunity of a second term to correct what they describe as gross marginalization of the Isoko Nation in all facets of our polity. They say despite being major oil producers and income earners for Nigeria, they have always been removed from the decision-making process at the federal level, a situation which they say has left them perpetually marginalized and practically forgotten in the sharing of the national cake. Ten ministerial appointments have been made from Delta State since 1999, and none of them is from the Isoko ethnic nationality. Of the three senatorial districts in Delta State, Delta North has had four ministerial appointments, including the current Minister of State for Petroleum, Dr. Ibe Kachuku. Delta Central has had three ministerial appointees, while Delta South, to which Isoko Nation belongs, has also had three ministerial appointments, one to the Shakiris in the person of Dr. Roland Orisha Jaffo, and the other two to the Jaws, represented by Alawe Broderick Bozimo and Elder Gosde Orubebe. The Honorable Minister for Niger Delta Affairs in the Good Luck Jonathan administration. The Isoko Equity Group wondered why, despite being major oil producers, successive governments have continuously left them out of appointments into the Federal Executive Council. I want to say the marginalization of Isoko is extreme. It is an experience that no ethnic group in Delta State and across the Niger Delta has had, have had. There is never ethnic group that can be compared to the level of marginalization that we have suffered in Isoko land. The, the fate of the country is determined at the Federal Security Council. So if you don't have a representative there, you are left, you are left you know, you know, on the sidelines. That is why we are saying that the, we have been marginalized enough. It is time for us to have a representative at the Federal Executive Council. Uzeri in Isoko South local government area is the second place where oil was discovered in commercial quantity in Nigeria in 1958. And 61 years later, the Isoko nation is still producing oil and making money for Nigeria. With a population of over 600,000, the Isoko nation has two local governments, Isoko North and Isoko South, with headquarters in Ozoro and Uli, respectively. A peace-loving people who have managed to maintain peace around all its oil installations, they said they should be rewarded instead of being taken for granted, as it is becoming increasingly difficult to contain the youths in the area and restrain them from violent acts. The narrative today seems to support that argument that the only way to bring the government to the negotiating table is by being violent, is by being, you know, agitative. Anything short of that, government will not listen to you. And that, unfortunately, is the problem of the Isoko Nation as it stands today. We are trained to have deep respect for our elders. So when the elders say, sit down, we are not used to this, we are not used to that, we are not known for this, we are not known for that, they used to listen to us or they listen to the elders. But now that respect is being eroded because over the years they have been telling this youth, the government will look our way. Isoko is not known for fighting. Isoko is not known for violence, but it has not paid. Most people resort to violence before they listen to them. What leaders in Isoko Nation are asking today is, if it is a crime to be peaceful and law-abiding, or have the Isoko people committed any sacrilegious crime against the Nigerian state to warrant the neglect that they currently suffer? To address the marginalization of the Isoko Nation, its leaders several months ago visited President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa Asorok in Abuja, where they asked him to intervene and reverse the ugly trend against the Isoko people. If you go to Isoko today, you will weep for them. So for more than 57 years, we don't have anything to show for the oil we have in our land. And uh, we have come to appeal to Mr. President to right the wrong so that some of the projects in our area can be given attention, particularly some of the road projects that were abandoned during the Civil War up to now. And uh, one of them is uh, the Emede Ibide uh, Uzeri Road. 
The marginalization of the Isoko nation is so overt that even in Delta State, they do not occupy any position of prominence in the executive, legislature, or judiciary. They therefore view a possible appointment of a minister from Isoko extraction by President Buhari as an action that will give them a sense of belonging. We have a glut of, of qualified men and women who are suitable for appointment as ministers. There are, there are so many all over the place in Isoko land. We have chartered accountants, we have lawyers, we have uh, medical doctors, we have several PhD holders who are also members of the All Progressive Congress. So if, if party affiliation or party leaning is any condition, we, we meet all the requirements to be appointed Minister of the Federal Republic. The one and only time an Isoko indigenous was appointed a minister was on August 6, 1976, when Bernard Maffeni was appointed Federal Commissioner for Agriculture. Inside the Niger Delta, 